All right, good morning, everybody. Batten down the hatches yet again. Get ready for lesson 85. Today we're talking about units of capacity, which basically means how much is inside a container. So on page 554 of your book, you have a handy-dandy chart. We saw one of these when we were doing units of length as well. Over here on the left, we have the U.S. customary system. 16 ounces equals a pint. There's going to be two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon. Over here on the metric system, what they want you to know, 1,000 milliliters in a liter. Hopefully you also know then there's 100 centiliters in a liter, right? Because that word centi means 100. And a liter is about two ounces more than a quart. But let's try to help you do some visualizing here. So the first one, 16 ounces in a pint. The half pint is what we drink every day for lunch and breakfast, right? So a half pint would have eight ounces. So a whole pint would have 16 ounces. Two pints equaling a quart. So remember quarts, those are those tall, skinny milk containers. I know my mom still gets her milk in quarts because she doesn't drink a whole lot over in our house. We have to buy them by the gallon. So speaking of, if you had two of those tall, skinny milk containers that are quarts, two of them would equal a half gallon. And four quarts is equal to one whole gallon jug. What do you think this word quart is based off of? Quarter, one-fourth, right? And a liter is about two ounces more than a quart, or that there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. A liter is the big, tall bottles of pop, right? So a little bit more, just two ounces more than a quart. All right, so we might see some problems like this. One quart is equal to how many ounces? And if you were using your handy dandy chart, you don't have anything that tells you one quart is how many ounces. You might have to go and make two conversions. So first of all, you know that there's two pints in a quart. So you also know that there's 16 ounces in each pint. If two ounces equal a quart, you have 16 ounces here, and you have another 16 ounces here, right? So 16 ounces plus 16 ounces, hopefully you know, that would then be 32 ounces in an, a quart, right? How many ounces are in a half pint of milk? Well, how many ounces is in a whole pint? 16 ounces in a whole pint. So what's one half of 16? One half of 16, if we divide by the denominator, 16 divided by two leaves us eight ounces. How many milliliters are in three liters? So I know that there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. That would mean I would have a thousand milliliters right here. And I'm gonna go and have a thousand milliliters for the others. So once I have it all visualized, it is pretty easy. 1,000 plus another 1,000 plus another 1,000, hey, that's going to give us 3,000 milliliters, right? Because milli means 1,000. Three groups of 1,000 is 3,000 milliliters. A half gallon is how many quarts? Well, again, if we know that there's four quarts in a whole gallon, what would be one half of four? One half of four 
is only going to leave you two, right? So there would be two quarts in half a gallon. Check out this one. Remember those charts. We haven't had one in a while. Take a look at our chart. Eight pints in a gallon. From eight pints to one gallon. So there's 16 pints in two gallons. 24 pints in three gallons. What type of math am I doing here? Looks to me like each time I'm just adding 8, right? 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 8 more is 24. So how many pints are in 4 gallons? Go ahead and add 8 more pints to it. 24 plus 8 more. That's going to give me 32. But here's where it gets interesting. So how many would be in 5 gallons? Well, go ahead and add another 8, right? So in 5 gallons, there would be 40 pints. But take a look at the last one. They want to know how many pints would be in five and a half gallons. So do you think I want to add by eight again? Because there's eight pints in a whole gallon. How many pints do you think there's in half a gallon? If each time we were adding by eight for a whole gallon to get half a gallon, this time you only better add four more, right? So if there were 40 pints in five gallons, 40 plus four more gives you 44 pints for five and a half gallons. And it is about that simple, my friends. The trick is keeping track of this handy dandy chart on page 544, maybe a scratch piece of paper to be successful on the Socrative quiz, and good luck.